friends. Today is July 15th, 2021, and this is Pray With Me, and I encourage you to pray with me, to pass this video on to others, and as we're praying, feel free to insert the names of the people that you're thinking of. Have a, a pen and paper handy because the Lord might give you an encouragement or you might want to write down a scripture that comes to your heart and read it later. So I've been reading in my one year Bible and this morning was really encouraged by Acts. I was really encouraged by everything that I read. But in Acts, um, you know, Paul's going around and he's ministering and serving. And I came across the part where um, he laid hands on people and they were healed. And it said that he laid hands on people and they were healed. And people would start prophesying and speaking in tongues. And I just want to encourage you guys to yield to the Holy Spirit. You know, tongues is not for everyone. I personally do not pray in tongues. I know many people that do, and I think it's beautiful and awesome. But we all have different spiritual gifts. And so I pray that we would exercise our gifts and we would be in tune to the gifts. So, for example, I have a friend who has the gift of discernment. And it's really strong in her. So she can go to a gathering and not know anybody there. And the Lord will speak a word to her right away of discernment over somebody. Whether they, you know, it's kind of scary whether they're in sin or whether, you know, they're going to have a baby. Or, you know, it's called the word of knowledge and, and the gift of discernment. They often go together. And so even though Isaac has special needs and has autism, I believe he has a gift of compassion. Because there's been many times in our life when someone's really hurting and even though Isaac's not big on giving hugs you know he does like me to hug him and you see him give me those kisses on my cheeks and forehead but he doesn't really just give strangers hugs but there's been times when people are really really hurting and he'll kiss them or he'll hug them or he'll look at them and say sad and I'm like how did he know so anyway I just want to encourage you to not be afraid of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is God, you guys. The Holy Spirit is God. And so another thing is we can't trifle with the Holy Spirit either. So in Acts, I think it was 18 or 19, um, there was um, this man who wanted to have the Holy Spirit. And so he was, it said he was exercising out demons. And he said, I adjure you, come out of this person. So he's trying to get a demon to come out of somebody and the person the man was praying I adjure you come out in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches so the yucky demonic spirit spoke back and said Jesus I know and Paul I know but who are you and then that spirit came on this man because he wasn't really filled with the Holy Spirit he just prayed according to the Jesus whom Paul preaches and you know there's no grandkids in heaven only kids so we need to have a relationship with God directly vertical and when we pray for people you know I'm not gonna pray I pray for you in the name of Jesus who my mom Becky believes in. no I need to believe in Jesus myself you know and my daughter Olivia she's 14 wait or 15 no excuse me she's 15 getting bigger and growing and maturing more and more every day and she's deepening her relationship with the Lord and so she can't have mom's faith or dad Chuck's faith she needs to have Olivia's faith between her and Jesus so anyway I just wanted to encourage you in that many things on my heart to pray for but I'm gonna just jump right into it and I pray a blessing over your day whatever it is that God has for you with the Holy Spirit working in partnership and unity Heavenly Father, I thank you for this beautiful day, this Thursday in July. It's another warm day in California. This is the day that you have made, Lord, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. May we never walk around thinking this is my day. It's not my day. It's your day, God, and you have a purpose and a plan for it. And you have a purpose and a plan for each one of your children, Lord. And so we want to call upon your name, Lord, the mighty name, Jesus, wonderful counselor, everlasting father, prince of peace. You are the great I am your Emmanuel, God with us. You're the soon and coming King Melech. You are Hashem, the name above 
above all names at the name of Jesus every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that you Jesus are the Lord you and you alone are the Lord I want to thank you for the beautiful work that you're doing at Calvary Chino Valley with VBS this week I thank you for all the little kids that have accepted you Jesus into their hearts I pray for a fresh outpouring of your Holy Spirit today Thursday only one more day today and then tomorrow and then the VBS week is over and so I pray Lord that what you began you would be faithful to complete it Lord I thank you for all the servants I thank you for all of the teachers father I'm sure they're tired and exhausted but they're doing this unto you Lord would you continue to bless them and move mightily I thank you for the godly men in our lives like my husband who wanted to date Olivia and take her out to breakfast just daddy daughter today I know that she needs it and I just thank you would you bless their time together their conversation Lord, may it be sweet and may you, Holy Spirit, be in every part of their conversation, Lord, this morning. I thank you for dads, for grandpas, for uncles, for pastors, for teachers, for, um, you know, men in our lives that you place in our lives to um, direct us to you, to direct our hearts to you, God. It's just such a blessing to know um, men and women that will edify us and encourage us. And Father, I want to pray for little Gwen this morning my precious friend's daughter who's going to new york at the end of the month she's going to be serving you lord jesus at, at new york um with this outreach and i just thank you for gwen gebhardt i pray you would bless her you would keep her you would keep her safe i pray she wouldn't get any type of illnesses you would protect her health her body and that you would open up the door holy spirit for her to be to be your servant be your ambassador of peace to the homeless in new york to whomever she encounters lord that you god would increase and that little gwen would decrease father bless her bless her be with her lord i pray for talisa she's in town and even though i'm not going to get to see her in person um, I just pray that you would refresh her as she's here with her sister and her mom and her family. That you would be with Talisa, that you would continue to strengthen her and bring healing to her family, to her heart, to her mind. And just whatever you want to do, God, we're open. We're open. Father, I pray for um, the women's conference that you would um, baptize me with your Holy Spirit, that I would only speak words that are directed by you, God. I pray for all the women, all the, the those teaching, those doing worship, all those that will attend. Get your ball, Isaac. And I pray that you would just um, have your way, that it would be an anointed time um, and bring you much honor and much glory because you're so worthy of our adoration of we want to exalt you that day and every day lord i pray for the mammoth um all church camp this upcoming week starting on monday that you would bless it lord that you would bless the devotions that you would bless the little hiking day trips the fishing all elements of this family camp we're scared lord we're a little bit nervous because we'll have isaac um you know we don't want him to get sick in any way so would you just protect his body lord and keep the seizures at bay. May he never, no, never, ever again have seizures, Lord. Touch his body and help him. Sick it, doggy. You are a mighty God. So I just give my sweet boy to you. Father, even Sick right it, now. Sick doggy. It's okay, let's go this way. Even though um, he, he gets scared of dogs, you can relieve fears. You are a, a God who heals, who touches, who saves, who ministers, Lord. You are a good good father that's who you are and i'm so thankful for that song it's the perfect lyrics because that's exactly what you are you're a good good father we love you so much we have to say it twice you are good good you are holy holy you are awesome awesome jesus we just thank you and love you and worship you and lord i just um i want to pray for the sick this morning i pray for regina i want to pray for um uh christina wolf for my friend tim for um all of those battling cancer, battling um, various ailments. My niece, Letitia, with the um, abnormal cells in her stomach. Pray for her, Lord. Would you give the doctors wisdom? Would you just help them to know what is wrong? Go ahead. Do it. One, two, three, test. Help the doctors to know what's wrong. And I just pray for a healing over her. And I pray for a touch from you over her body, Lord. I pray for Amy Clark as her back hurts. She... Um, was having these muscle spasms and i just pray over her lord would you touch her would you do what, you, what only you can do father in amy's body um and just minister to her lord because when we don't feel good it's a distraction from our service to you so please be with her lord and i pray for chuck as he's starting a new job august 2nd at the district 
He's nervous. Uh, we're all nervous. It's new, Father, and change can be scary. But I pray, God, that this would be a, a, an awesome opportunity for him to reach not just students, but families, whole families, grandmas, grandpas, moms, dads, all the families, Lord, that they would truly, um, that you would use Chuck to impact families for your namesake in the Ontario School District. What a blessing. We prayed, you answered, you opened up this door. Thank you for that, God. And Lord, we know that um, we're living in the last days and we just pray for the governor of California, whomever he will be, that you would provide somebody new, somebody that's holy, somebody that has integrity, somebody that will stand up for righteousness and not bow down to the agendas of this age, God. And we pray for the backslid and Lord, there's so many. Go ahead right now, name who's on your heart, who's backslidden, any prodigals or anyone that's walked away from the Lord, name them right now. Yes, Father Anthony, my nieces, all of them, Jesus. I pray for my neighbors and my community. They don't know you, Lord. I pray for the unsaved husbands, Father. You know who they are by name. I pray for Jose, for Brady, God. Draw them back to you with cords of love. For Annie and Becca, Lord, I pray for their souls. Bring them back to you, Jesus. Draw them back. Go ahead, call out, call out their name. Whomever is on your heart, pray for them right now. <sighs> take a off. Don't take a off. We're walking. We're praying to Jesus. So, Lord, we just we we pray for all of the prodigals that are on our hearts, Father. Whether they're grown, whether they're a teen, Father. Whether they're on drugs, Lord. I pray for for Tommy that you would draw him back to you, God. And um, we just know, Lord, that you're mighty to save, Lord. That's what you came. You came on a rescue mission to save those who are lost, Father. And there are many. Father, I pray for those um, in bondage in the homosexual lifestyle. Draw them back to you, Jesus. Um, and I just pray that you would use whatever means, God. Even like uh, Rosa's daughter, she mentioned that she's so lost. So to the left, she said. But God, would you put people in her path? In all of the prodigals that we named that are on our hearts, that we love, um, our family members, our friends, um, people that we used to serve alongside at church. We pray for them that you would put people in their path, put Christians in their path, people that, um, that you know, anywhere at the, at the bank, at the grocery store, at the restaurant, at the coffee shop, at Hobby Lobby, at Kohl's, anywhere, put people in their path, God, that would show truth and show your love through kind acts. Father, I want to pray for that man that Chuck um, encountered named Devante at the gas station. No, he said it at Home Depot. And he prayed with him the other day and he saw him again yesterday. And Devante said his brother just was shot in the face and killed. And I just, I'm so heavy hearted for this young man right here in Upland. Devante, Lord, may everyone watching this video pray for Devante for his salvation and for comfort as he just lost his brother through a tragic um, horrible uh, murder and so we pray for Devante Lord we know that you put him in Chuck's path for a reason he had an opportunity to pray for him not once but twice and I just pray for this young man's heart God and I want to pray that you would continue to use um these different outreaches, Lord, the whosoever's outreaches, God, the you turn for Christ, Lord, worship concerts in the night. Um, I don't know if Harvest is going to be only online this year, but for Harvest Crusade and just all the different evangelistic means of getting out the gospel. Would you use these different tools, um, the podcasts, Lord? We want to see your kingdom come, your will be done. And your word says you're not willing that any should perish but all should come to repentance so we pray that you would use whatever media whatever person whatever worship song on the radio whatever message to reach people i think of your servant pastor raul reese who stumbled on um pastor chuck smith on the on the tv and that's what you used god you used pastor chuck's smile to save pastor raw you used him and his words and his smile and so would you use our smiles today god we often think i'm just one person there's not much i can do but that is a lie from satan and with that would you help us remember that we are in a spiritual war lord marriages are under attack
So many people are under attack. Give us your strength so we can fight this battle. Put the full armor of God on us, Lord. The spirit of the Lord is upon us. And we want to be those that are ambassadors of peace, of love, and of sharing your joy with others. God, I want to pray for Eric and Esther's marriage, Lord. I pray for Marlo and Erica's message. I pray for all the women. I mean, message, marriage. I pray for Erica and Marlo's marriage and for Esther and Eric's marriage. Um, and the many others that are just hanging on by a thread, Father. I know, Lord, that a thread is enough. Your word says a cord of three strands can't be easily broken. So if if you're going to use um, the the trials of life and, you know, this hard COVID year and everything we've been through to not destroy the marriage, but to build it up because you're a miracle working God and you work all things together for good. When Joseph was imprisoned, he must have felt in prison. Why me? Why me, God? Why did I have to get these dreams? And why do all these bad things have to happen to me? But you used it to turn it around for good. Genesis 50 verse 20 and Romans 8, 28. You are the God of the turnaround. So I just pray and I just ask humbly for these marriages to be saved, to be healed. And even for those, God, that are, are um, dabbling, those that, that they know you, maybe they were raised Christian, maybe they even went to Ontario Christian School or another Christian school. They were raised Catholic, but they know of you, but they don't really know you. I pray they would stop dabbling and instead they would jump in. Just like with a pool, you could put a toe in, your feet in, or you could jump in, do a cannonball. And that's what I pray over um, the dabbling Christian, the carnal Christian, the half-hearted Christian. That they wouldn't be that way anymore, but they would jump full force into your love, Lord. I want to lift up my cousin Priscilla who survived COVID and I bless you and I thank you for that. And she said she's serving in VBS next week and she gets very fatigued quickly because of the COVID um, aftermath. So would you be with Priscilla? I love her heart to want to serve you and I just lift her up to you. I pray for the Thrasher family. I thank you that Chuck was able to be interviewed by Gabe and Zeke. What a blessing. I pray you would bless every one of the, the Thrasher family, Lord Gabe and Jeanette and uh, Zeke, Calvin, uh, Trinity, and Elias. Bless them all, Father, and just help Calvin to fully surrender his heart to you, Lord. He was raised in you. He knows so many scriptures, but this this movement of this liberal agenda and all this politics stuff, it's it's crowding out your voice, and it's crowding out your truth, and he he's um, been swayed away from you. So would you just sway him right back, Lord, just like a pendulum swings to the left or to the right? Would you just swing him right back to you, God? And I just thank you, Father, for this prayer walk time. It's so refreshing to just walk with you and to pray to you and to worship you, God. And we want to worship you, Lord. We don't want to be like ourselves. I, Laura, I would make a mess of my life. I know that I would. I'm full of selfishness. I'm full of pride, Lord. I don't know which way to go. I don't know to go left, to go right, Father. But you're the one, Holy Spirit, that directs me. You're the one that um, allowed me to go to law school and pass the bar exam. You're the one that blessed me with an amazing uh, man of God, husband, Chuck, and blessed me with my two kids and, and all of the trials and all the valley lows of life. You've been there. You've never left me, God. And even when I felt alone, that was a lie. You were there. You were there. You were there, Emmanuel well. And so, Lord, I just pray that for all of my brothers and sisters praying with me, that you would help them to be humble and to reflect on the could have beens. If they would have been left to themselves, they would have been a mess. They would probably be dead or, you know, alcoholic or, or you know, just made a big mess of their life. But you, Jesus, came through, you broke through, and you always break through. And so we just love you. We praise you. I want to pray a blessing over Sandy, Andrea, Olivia, and Desiree. As they're having a little ladies overnight um, this weekend. Would you bless them, God? Yes, it's fun to be with the girls and laugh and giggle. But I just pray, Jesus, that you would show up and you would show up big. That you would be there in their midst. That you, Lord, would... Um, just make them laugh with joy and, and just sense your presence, Lord, in, in their time together. And I'm asking all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys.